Hey guys, what's going on? It's George coming at you with another video, and today I want to talk about the new change to the um, the CCIE, or I guess I should say the rumors regarding the version 5 update. Uh, INE actually posted a blog on their website, blog.ine.com. I'll try to remember to put it in the description below. But essentially, what they're saying is that they're pretty much convinced that Cisco is going to make an announcement this November of 2013. The long-awaited CCIE version 5 is probably going to come out, and more than likely, they say is, it will. Uh, and personally, I think that, you know, because the source is INE, I think that they wouldn't actually say it unless they knew almost to, <laughs> you know, 99% or better that uh, it was actually going to happen. I don't think they would actually say so. So I'm pretty confident that in November uh, the announcement is going to come out and so that means that probably around March is when the version 5 exam, uh, the lab and the written exam are going to be um, you know, put in place. So what does this mean for you? Um, I don't know how many CCIEs actually follow me, uh, but I know that there's a few CCNPs and a lot of CCNAs or those expi inspiring to be CCNAs at the very least. What does that mean for you all? Mostly nothing, honestly. Even for those going for the CCIE like myself, um, I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned that on my channel, that I'm actually going to be studying for the CCIE. Um, during this time, I'm going to be studying the core topics that are definitely not going to change. A lot of the uh, VLAN topics, um, I'm going to probably stick with the switching realm for now. So I'm going to be sticking with uh, VTP, VLANs, um, HSRP, VRRP, uh, GOBP, you know, all the all that switching topics, uh, port security, all that stuff isn't going to change. What INE says is that they're going to remove things like frame relay. Um, that's one of the things that they're really big on. They always have to throw in that they're going to remove frame relay and they're probably going to add uh, DMVPNs as well as some IPsec concepts and configurations as well. So honestly, I mean, things like OSPF, um, EIGRP topics are likely, you know, IPv6, QoS, MPLS, all that stuff is still going to be on the exam. They're going to add a couple of more things, and knowing INE, they probably have somebody out there doing research for them, uh, probably getting the inside scoop of what's going on. So. Um, all that said, I am going to be holding off on actually purchasing, um, you know, a lot of the, the training material until uh, probably about January or February. Uh, once INE releases, starts releasing their version 5 material, I'm hoping that um, their advanced technologies uh, topics uh, have changed or changed by that time. And at that point, I'll purchase the workbook. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to stick around with INE. So what does this mean for your lab, by the way? That's a lot of the things that, that I was worried about was the lab. Is it going to be more expensive? Is it going to you know mean that you're going to have to invest more in your CCIE lab? Uh, the short answer could be yes, it could be no. It all depends on the approach that you take. Now for me personally, I had purchased a while back with my CCMP, I purchased a GNS3 server. So that thing was housing the quad NICs, which would connect over to my switches. So that was the way that I was planning to do my CCIE, but now because of this version change, uh, that's actually no longer going to be possible. Um, because I, from what I hear, um, Cisco is going to be using their uh, version 15, uh, their iOS, which means. Um, or 15.2 or one of those <laughs> version numbers and that requires licensing so what I think I'm gonna fall back on is I'm gonna sell the equipment that I have probably keep you know a couple maybe one or two routers one or two switches uh, sell my uh, GNS3 server sell most of my switches my access server and just get rack rentals from INE directly so I'm gonna be purchasing their entire uh, INE uh, uh, series like all four workbooks, um, their lab series, their written series, advanced technologies, and then the practice, the four practice labs that they have, 
as well as purchasing um, probably about 650 tokens for their um, for their lab and uh, I'm not sure if 650 tokens is going to be enough to actually go through it all but I will gauge myself uh, you know throughout the studies and of course for a lot of the things that don't require um, you know the 12.0 or whatever the case is you can always use GNS3 uh, you know like things like um, uh, routing protocols like inter area you don't have to worry about really using their rack rentals to do that I mean you can do that on your own equipment you can set up the topology and, and get it set up for yourself but then once you advance into the things that you can't do on genus 3 like working on switches uh, doing layer 3 uh, private VLANs um, let's see um, on routing I guess most of the routing unless it has something to do with um, with the uh, version of the iOS the 15.4 or 15.2 then I imagine you could do it on GNS3 so you can kind of gauge yourself in that way and hopefully um, um, that works out uh, well for me so it's going to be an expensive venture and it's definitely something that's going to take me I would imagine about a year or more to actually do uh, when I started studying uh, pretty much right after my CCNP I was a bit worried that the change would come you know six months from now when I was about 60 50 percent done with the material um, if you are in that situation I would say not to worry too much about it uh, I any recommend certain dates uh, if you're were planning on taking it on a certain date whether you should or shouldn't um, but either way I wouldn't worry about it too much a lot of the core topics are going to be the same and honestly they're just going to uh, take away some and add some just like Cisco does for pretty much everything um, the CCNA was recently updated and a lot of the core topics are exactly the same and that's what you should expect you know uh, the technology doesn't change in that sense where OSPF still behaves like OSPF EIGRP still behaves like that and so the spanning tree and um, HSRP that's all the same and that's definitely things that are here to stay uh, so you could, if you guys have any questions um, first of all read the link down there if you haven't already uh, if you want to shoot me a comment go ahead and do that or a personal message and I'll try to get back to you hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you all later